Farmer protests in Europe continues to make headlines. The agrarian community has stepped out on the streets yet again in Belgium, protesting against cheap imports from Ukraine, global trade deals and new green requirements under the European Union's agriculture policy. Belgian farmers got into a scuffle with police. They sprayed manure towards Belgian forces ahead of a meeting of 27 EU agriculture ministers who were planning to discuss the agrarian crisis. Police were seen using water cannons and tear gas to disperse the protesters. Farmers also took out their tractors in protest, jamming the European Union district with about 250 tractors. Farmers say more should be done to ensure fair prices. Things used to be okay, but over the last two or three years, they've gone downhill. We need to recognize there's also this climate problem, which is putting us in a bit of a blind. Everyone wants to work in the same direction, but we have to earn a decent living as well. EU members are now in a dilemma. They are debating on ways to grant Ukraine a further year-long extension of tariff-free access to its markets and also appease the farmers who have been protesting for months on end. France says it is pushing for greater curbs on imports of food products from Ukraine to prevent the destabilization of EU agricultural markets. We help Ukraine a lot, as you know, from a military point of view, and it is necessary to help Ukraine on military matters because Ukraine must win this war. Furthermore, we are also helping Ukraine on economic issues, in particular the agricultural question, since Ukrainian farming is powerful. But this must not unbalance the markets, because if we lose the support of public opinion, and if we lose our European agriculture, neither the Ukrainians nor Europe have any interest in it. So it is this position of balance that we hold and that I believe which is a fair position on unwavering support for Ukraine, but not at the cost of a destabilization of the markets which would be too strong and which would go against the Ukrainians. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.